The Organisation of African Communities has had a great year for 2016, bringing together people from 52 countries from one continent of Africa, settling here in Perth. I'm from the Community Engagement Division and basically uh, we work with all the uh, African communities, the new and emerging communities here in Western Australia. Uh, to the greater community, we have a real role to um, educate them as well. I don't like to call them ignorant, I just think that at times they don't understand the process. But your African and your Middle Eastern brothers and sisters are not unlike to you. Uh, and basically give them a chance to prove that they also want to become mainstream and they can provide a lot of rewards. We don't want them to lose their, their traditions, we don't want them to lose their nationality. We want them to become part of the broad tapestry of Perth. Australia is really multicultural and will continue to be so like the rest of the world and I think Perth is a beautiful city that has a chance to adopt it and really show the flavours that are on, on display. 2016 has been a very successful year for OEC. Uh, in 2015 it was just the first year of our existence so not too many people knew us at the time and since then we've been working very hard and that's why we are here tonight to get those people that have worked along with us and helped us to reach to this place to tell them thank you and eat something together to acknowledge them like what we did tonight. So 2016 was a very successful year and we wish that uh, we can have a better 2017. Well, when I was the uh the member for Cowan in the federal parliament. Uh, I certainly made some speeches uh, about the great work that the OAC has, has been doing and I've also helped uh, many uh, Africans with uh, their immigration uh, issues to help more people come to Australia. Uh, when I see good people and I meet good people uh, and I hear uh, about good work they've done, uh, it makes it very easy to support them and uh, speak on their behalf. Linking up with the Organisation for African Communities has helped us find other similar communities and then we get tips and hints on how to work with each other. Joe and our president, Alberta, get along really well and so he's helped us several times and we're always very grateful. It kind of gets lonely when you don't have other people who understand the context that you came from and so just kind of knowing everyone and being able to support each other and having the same kind of context and circumstances is always quite helpful. It's unity, how to unite the whole Africans together. The differences lies in the way Africa was colonised. Some were colonised by Americans, some were colonised by UK, and some were colonised by uh, Portuguese. So we have different ways of thinking. And then we also have our own culture. Some, some of the co uh, countries are uh, predominantly Christians and some are predominantly Muslims. But we have to work together. We have to find a common solution whereby religion is not going to divide us so that we focus on the Africa, not on individuals. If we continue this way, there'll be more unity, especially if people begin to trust us, begin to see the good work we're doing, then they will see the need to come together. And I guess that uh, we'll be able to make more impact, contribute more to Australia. Africa is not a country, it's a continent made up of uh, more than 52 countries. So we are not uh, naive to think that the whole of Africans will just be one. Because the reality is Australia is not white Australia anymore. You know, it's a multicultural Australia. And so it's very imperative that these organizations that provide vital services are able to treat everybody in a just and fair manner. I think Perth has, uh, is, is in such a great place because they've got an opportunity to be able to embrace the diverse cultures that are there. I, we talk a lot about, you know, why do we focus on difference and we should, you know, we should focus on similarities. And I think that's wrong. We need to focus on difference because difference is not negative and there's nothing wrong with, with focusing on difference. In fact, we need to do that more and celebrate it. There's such a richness in Perth. And so I think we've got a great opportunity to showcase that and start actually working together and celebrating difference and being comfortable with allowing multiple persons perspectives and we're certainly in the right city for this to happen. Um, I just want to say we need to be diversified in a sense we need to have an open mind 
we need to really embrace people's culture and be open-minded in a sense where you can be a judgmental because of their culture, their race, their value. We need to embrace ourselves. Let Western Australia be a mixed salad with every people from different walks of life. Look, uh, I think uh, there's an amazing future out there for the organization of African communities in Western Australia because a lot of people are believing what we're doing. There are actions, there are great things being done that never happened before. So we got a very great future and you could see the amount of commitments tonight from pastors, from community leaders and other great people that look, we like what you're doing and we're going to work with you in 2017. The most fantastic thing is that people like Joe and some of his um, uh, committee um, have, have sort of really taken the next step in uh, building self-resilience, um, in, in lifting their own communities and the greater African community to greater heights. And this is done by um, uh, means of projects um, and by uh, putting together programs that the youth can understand, guided by their elders and guided by the local government service providers as to um, how to do it here in WA um, and how to take that next step. And then look, these youth uh, and champions that we develop then show the way for the next ones to come. Angela Albuquerque for Undercurrent.